I'm Ken Anders with ProFoam. With a spray foam rig, it may be necessary occasionally to go from open cell to closed cell, closed cell to open cell, or maybe on the ISO side, you may be changing out or, or purging all your ISO and putting a storage solution in to store it for the winter or something like that. So it would make sense that if you know that your spray hose has a gallon of fluid in it, that if you push a gallon of the new fluid through, then you're good to go. But that's not really how it works. So I wanted to kind of demonstrate that. The way I'm going to do that is here I have a plastic tube representing our hose. And I'm going to fill it with material. It's going to take about 50 milliliters to do that. So I'll put that in and then I'll flush it out with 50 milliliters of a solvent. And what you're going to see is a lot of this is still remaining in that hose. So let's give that a shot. Okay, here's the 50 milliliters of material that will be in our hose. So theoretically, if I just push this 50 milliliters of solvent through, it should clear it and just be full of solvent. Watch what happens. That's the 50 milliliters of solvent, and it's not clear at all. It's going to take an awful lot more solvent to clear that up. So let's push another 150 milliliters through there and see how that does. I can just see it's starting to get a little bit lighter here. Let's go with some more. And some more. So it's starting to lighten up a little bit, but it's going to take a long time for that chemical to come out because the chemical is clinging to the walls of that hose and does not want to purge cleanly. So just keep in mind that if you're switching between materials or purging ISO out to put a storage solution in, it may take much, much longer than you're expecting to get that system into the new material. I'm Ken Anderson with ProFoam. Thanks for watching.